Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, Deputy Ministers, Deputy Ministers, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning and thank you very much for joining us today. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the launch of the fifth edition of the ITU flagship report entitled Measuring the Information Society 2013. Sound indicators and internationally comparable data are the basis of shaping the world of tomorrow. The Measuring the Information Society report has become a key reference document to monitor information and communication technology developments worldwide and to track the access, use, and affordability of ICT services. Let me share with you some of the key findings of the report. Over the last year, 250 million people came online. By the end of this year, almost 40% of the world's population will be using the internet. Mobile technology and services continue to be the key driver of the information society and the number of mobile broadband subscriptions is now close to 2 billion. Mobile broadband is allowing more, more people to connect to high-speed networks and benefit from an ever-growing number of applications and services. It's also opened the door to new initiatives, such as the ITU Empowering Development Initiative, which will promote and leverage the use of mobile applications for social and economic development. While both fixed and mobile broadband speeds continue to increase, the price of services is falling and ICT are becoming more affordable. In the space of four years, fixed broadband prices have dropped by an impressive 82%. Those are very good and very pos positive developments. Let us all together use these positive developments to, to put a human face to ICTs. A human face where we will bring at the, in the fingers and the hand of normal people the ICT very strong and very powerful tool for development. This is what we call putting a human face to ICT. It should not continue to be a luxury. Let's put it in the end of normal people, in the end of young people, in order for them to really to use this as a tool for development. The report features also an important international benchmarking tool, the ICT Development Index, or IDI. The IDI captures the level of ICT development in over 155 economies worldwide and has become a key measure to evaluate progress and set priorities and targets. This year, IDI revealed two encouraging issues. First, we have a group of countries that rank highly on the index. And second, the IDI also identifies the most dynamic countries in terms of ICT growth. These are countries that have made the most progress over the last year and they are mostly from developing countries, which is very encouraging for the global development of the ICTs in the world. Let me now talk, say a few words about the young generation. Young people are all over the world the most active users of ICTs. For the first time in, in the report, we have quantified the number of world digital natives. While we ourselves are, uh, we ourselves as adults, we are only digital migrants. Now we are measuring the digital natives. This group of young people who were born into the digital age 
and growing up using ICT in their daily lives, and they are the key drivers for the information society. Last month, ITU organized the Beyond 2015 Global Youth Summit, which was hosted by the government of Costa Rica. The summit demonstrated the importance role of young people in shaping tomorrow's information society and confirm the unique and place and role in the deeply transformed and interconnected world. The summit's global youth declaration highlights the urgent need for, I quote, measurable targets to monitor the empowerment of young people at regional, national, and international levels. This brings us back to the importance of reliable data and indicators that allow us to progress. An old management principle states that if you cannot measure, you cannot manage. This is why we are very proud to contribute to the development of information society through this report. Ladies and gentlemen, as I close, I would like to invite you to the next meeting, the World Telecommunication Indicators Symposium that will be held from the 4th to the 6th of December in Mexico. And this time, this, the, the symposium will have a full one-day one high level for ministers, CEOs of uh, or statistics at the country level, and from the industry, uh, international organizations, to make sure that we put these statistics as a level it is required and the level it deserves for us to use them properly for development. On this note, I would like to thank you very much for joining us today. We remain at your disposal. I thank you.